Hello guys, today I am going to create annotation feature class and dimension feature class. At the same time, how is it work? We will see in the arc map. So first I am going to create annotation feature class. This is the arc catalog. Click on right button. New. Click feature class. Then here write feature class name. I will give you know. Same name here also. Here we have to select Anno feature. Then click next. Here whatever scale factor you require, you can select. First I will select this one thousand. Here map in it. I will give feet. Click next. Then wait. Once here came. Now whatever color you like, you can select color also. Either you can select a blue bold. You can select size also. I will select size ten. I will change the color also. I will give the red color. Then I will keep it as this. I will give the bold color. I will click next. Same next. Click next. If you require this field, if you want to change the field names, you can input uh, other feature class also. So I will keep it as this. Click finish. See now it is created annotation feature class. Now I am going to create dimension feature class. I will click here. Go to here. Click here. Feature. Then click here. Whatever feature class we are required, I will give just dimension. I will give just name. Here select dimension, then click next. Here also you whatever like scale factor. I'll select even this one. Wow, as this keep it. Click next. Click next. Same things. I'll keep it in. Finish. So I I have created annotation name dimension feature class. So these things how is it work in uh, arc map? We will see now. I will select this path and I will add this all features in arc map. I will open arc map, then I will paste. See now it is added annotation feature class and dimension feature class. So now I want to create annotation. We will see the sample examples. I will start editing. So here create. See here annotation feature class is there dimensional. So now I am going to create annotation. Click annotation. Still wait. It is uh, loading. So once it is load, you can click wherever you want. See, I want to click here annotation. It's loading. See, like we can create like this. So zoom it. We'll zoom. See here, we given without name, just whatever the, it will come default name. If you want to change the, if you want to give the some name or whatever you pipe name or point point name, so you can just select this one, click attribute. Here it is showing. So here we can change the name. We can change the color. We can change the bold. We can change the height also size. Here is size also there. So if you, I'll give the sample, you can know the. I'll give the name. See, this is I'll give name. I will change the color also for your reference. I'll give the blue. I'll change the bold also. Now I want to change the size also. Click apply. See here, it is change the height, bold, and text also. So like this, we can create annotation. Feature class we can use text also. So like this we can create annotation feature class. We can add text here. You can change the height and text font size also. Like this we can. So now we are going to see the dimension feature class. So same thing here. Create new feature. Click here dimension. See here we don't know how much distance here. This point to this point. So click this point to this point. Then drag like this 
See? This distance, how much here is here it is displaying. Like this we can create dimension feature class. So for example, I will we'll see the one more example also. We will see here. So I am going to create one more default. See here to here. I will give the see 74.9. We will see that this how much is there. See here it is showing 74.10 like nearly 74.1 exactly it is showing here so we can use the dimension feature class here like this we can create like this in between okay guys so like this we can create if you want change the color height whatever you like you can change the here dimension with like this okay guys like this we can create we can create annotation feature class and dimension feature class how is it working like this we can see here right okay guys thank you thank you so